Right now I'm going to do a speed and multitasking test between the Google Pixel XL, which Google's pricing as a full flagship phone at flagship prices versus, now you might be wondering, what is this phone? This is the Lenovo ZUK, the Zook Z2 phone. And this phone cost me $194 shipped from China. Now you might be asking, okay, why are you comparing a super duper budget phone, a cheap ass phone to a flagship? Well, because they actually have a lot of similarities. This phone right here has a Snapdragon 820. And I believe four gigs of RAM right? or three gigs of RAM, I'm not sure. Three or four gigs of RAM on this, but it has the Snapdragon 820. The Pixel has the Snapdragon 821. Now this has a 1080p screen, LCD. This is 1080, uh, excuse me, a 2K display uh, AMOLED. So is the Pixel worth $800 more than this? Are you getting $800 more performance with a phone like the Pixel versus, you know, you can buy five of these for one Pixel, basically. Something like that, right? So let's see what the differences are between the two. Okay, so I'm going to reboot both devices right now. See what, what, which phone reboots faster. Three, two, go. We'll see. Now the Pixel in the past that reboots really, really slow. We'll see what happens in this test. Comparing, let's compare the two devices real quick. You can still see the screen. Uh, they both have U USB Type C. Headphone jacks on the bottom on the Z2. Headphone jacks on the top of the Pixel. Both have bottom firing speakers. You have a mic right here on the Lenovo. Okay. See on top. Okay, so you can see the Lenovo actually boots up faster than a flagship phone. Very nice. Major props to Lenovo. And the fingerprint scanner is actually pretty quick. So you can see right there. One touch of the button, you're in. Nothing on this side of the device. On this side of the device, you have your power, volume rocker, your SIM slot, okay, top nothing, the camera on the back, now I do have, I do still have to test the camera on this, okay, let's uh, get started here, I'm lagging behind a little bit, put in my pattern on the pixel, and let's go, let it load, let it load, let it load the, the date, and the clock, come on, okay, pixel for a flagship phone, you're lagging behind a little bit, okay, I have a Bunch of apps here I'm gonna open. Let's go. Well, I kind of messed up. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. All right, here we go. Google app, go. Okay. Same on both. All right. Calculator. Wow. About the same on both. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Google Sky Map. Very similar on both for $194. Remember that. Okay. IG. Okay. Slightly faster on the Pixel. Okay. We'll go over to settings right now. Slightly faster on the Pixel. The Play Store. Okay. You be the judge. I'm going to click on this. We'll leave it there. YouTube. Okay. Leave it there. Or actually, we'll go in this ad. Okay. Now, messaging. Very similar. Chrome. Okay. I have this page up. Okay, let's click on a story here. Or actually, no, we'll just do it this way. Schedule on both. Golden State Warriors. Do some web browsing here. So you can see the Lenovo is not bad. For under $200, for a phone under $200, it's not bad at all. We'll leave that there. The camera. Okay, I'm going to launch it like this. 3, 2, go. Okay, slightly faster on the Pixel. 
but not bad on the Lenovo phone at all. Remember, under $200. I know I've said that like a thousand times already. Angry Birds 2, go. About even. Okay, Pixel jumps ahead. Okay. Well, maybe not. What's going on with the Pixel? Okay. It's weird. Click on one, one, two, five. No, I don't want to buy that. Okay. I'm going to get out of here. All right. Asphalt 8, go. Ooh, I think the Z2 might be ahead a little bit. And would you look at that? Wow. Both very similar. Okay, we'll leave that there. Subway Surf, go. Pixel ahead a little bit. Let's see who loads the game faster. And the Pixel. Tap to play on both. We'll play a little bit and then I'm going to stop the game. Okay, Temple Run 2, go. Pixel ahead, followed by the Z2. But again, under 200 bones, not bad. We'll play. I'm going to stop the game right there. All right, now let's go into the multitasking right here. Let's see, I'm really curious to see how this phone, the Z2, handles uh, RAM management. Okay, Google app. Not bad. Kept that in memory. Calculator. Kept that in memory on both. Sky map. That's in memory. Not bad. The Lenovo is hanging pretty good here. Instagram. Memory on both. Wow. Okay. No reloading. The Z2 is performing really well here. Play Store. Very nice. Major props to the Z2 thus far. Budget phone hanging with a uh, flagship, YouTube. Wonderful. Messaging. Wonderful. Let's see, and then we have Chrome. Wow, in memory. Major props to the Z2 right now. Camera. You guys be the judge on that. Okay, Angry Birds. And 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 look at this. Look at this. Now let me let me hold on a second. Two hundred dollars. This phone on the left, under two hundred dollars. Full flagship. Okay, full flagship. Was able to keep this game in memory. Reloaded the game. Wow. Wow. That's all I have to say. Wow. Okay. Asphalt 8. Go. And again. In memory, reloading the game. Wow. Pixel, what is wrong? You're a full flagship phone. You're telling me you're going to get smoked by a budget phone here? No way. Subway Surf. Okay, that was kept in memory. Wow. And I think, do we have one more game here? Temple Run 2. And then it's able to keep it in memory. So as you can see, this phone, under $200, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Alright, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. This is Tim. Peace.